Water is a beautiful thing. Really, it's everywhere. It's in your tap. It's in your body. It's in your uncle's dirty hose that you drank out of in the backyard when you were about seven years old and somehow survived. I mean, it's everywhere. It's a beautiful thing. It's also in Blender, so you can simulate water in Blender, but sometimes that water simulation isn't enough. Maybe your inner Minecraft gamer side just needs a little bit more block in your water. That's what this tutorial is. Look no further, because this tutorial will teach you how to take your boring old smooth, translucent, realistic looking water to something straight out of 2009 Minecraft. So let's get right into it. So. This is a tutorial that I might have taken from last year's tutorial on how to make this exact same thing, but the reason I'm remaking it is because Blender decided to get a new fluid simulator called MantaFlow. So, um, I spent about 25 minutes learning this, so I'm pretty sure I have met all the qualifications to make this tutorial. So, let's get right into it. So, uh, in our new Blender project, you'll have your default cube. That's really all we need, but we don't like the default cube, so you can go ahead and delete that. Shift A, and then add another cube, just to show it who's boss. Uh, once we have that, all we have to do is hit G on our keyboard, and then Z, and then just bring it up to about yay high, something like that, to where it's just kind of floating over our origin point. So now, once we have that, all we have to do is go to Object over here on the left, and then go to Quick Effects. Now, these Quick Effects are very, very nice for lazy people like you and me, who do not want to uh, manually set our domains, inflow objects, outflow objects, collisions, just things like that, things boring people do. We're not boring around here. We're making voxel water. So, in quick effects, if we go down, you can see we have quick liquid. You want to you take a guess what this does? I'll give you three seconds. <laughs> Wrong. It gives us smoke. I'm joking. It gives us liquid. It gives us water. That's what it does. So, if we just go ahead and click quick liquid we can see that instantly we have this nice little package right here um, and in this package that went straight from Amazon Amazon Prime two-day shipping straight to your door we have a domain and then we have our outflow object inflow object whatever it's called inflow outflow I don't know but we have these two objects these two objects are what we're gonna want so if we go ahead and click play you can instantly see that we have these particles they're pretty cool looking actually they're like these green blue cyans but that's basically your fluid simulation. Uh, you can continue playing that. You can get lost into a trance, watch that for 20 minutes, and then realize that you missed the rest of this tutorial. But that's not the point here. So what we have to do is we have to somehow get those particles into a mesh. And then once we have the mesh, we can just turn it into a voxelized water simulation. So how do we do that? So if we go ahead and go to frame one to where we can see our actual particles, and we click on our domain object, this is the big rectangle that's outside of our smaller cube. Um, we go to our physics properties down here, which is this little ball with another ball orbiting it. We can see that we have our domain settings. Feel free to tinker with all this if you want to. Uh, I'm not going to, but you can if you want to. Uh, just go ahead and do that. But you can just like uh, change all this if you want to. But what we're looking for is under this liquid tab, uh, this little mesh thing. So if we click mesh, we can see that instantly... Um, it basically gives us our domain turns into a mesh and we have this like just mesh cube in here And if we click play we can see that it goes ahead and plays our fluid simulation But now it's a mesh so uh, to get this to run a little bit better You can replay it uh, the first time you play it. It's gonna be a little bit slow or you could change this up res factor down uh, either way uh, it'll just increase performance I wouldn't recommend changing that down for the final render just for the viewport but yeah, um, so now what we're going to go ahead and do is switch to cycles and then switch our device to GPU compute. Um, if you're not rendering on GPU, if you're rendering on CPU, then that's cool too. But if you have a GPU and you're not rendering on GPU, you should probably render on your GPU. So if you don't know how to do that, first your devices need to be set on GPU compute. And if it's not enabled, that will be grayed out, but you'll still be able to select it. Now to actually enable your GPU, just go up here to the edit tab in the top left, go to preferences. And then go to system and either under CUDA, Optics, or OpenCL, you'll have your graphics card that's in your computer right here. Just click it and enable it, uh, make sure it's checked, and then go to save preferences. But once we have that done and our GPU selected and everything, what we can do is we can go ahead and hit Z and then go into render view. So we can see if we play this now, we can see that it gives us a uh, pre-made material. It's a water material. It's translucent. Its index of refraction is all fine and dandy. I mean, it looks like water pretty much. But we're not here for that. 
we are here to make voxel water, the most elite water. And this, well, quite frankly, it just isn't elite water. So how do we change that? I'm glad you asked. So the way we change that is if we go back to frame one on our timeline, what we can go ahead and do is we can go to our materials tab and you can see the material that's automatically applied is the liquid domain material. We're going to go ahead and just remove that because we don't need it. We're not going to use it. I mean, you could use it if you want to, but I'm not going to use it for this tutorial. So we can go ahead and click new and then we can just keep the principal BSDF. Uh, I'm going to change the base color to this type of blue, something like that. We can go ahead and see how that looks and we can see how that's going and it's looking pretty good except it's still not blocky it, it's just not so how do we get that voxel effect so what we can go ahead and do is go back to frame one it's always good to reset your animation before you make a change and we just go to our modifiers tab add a modifier and then remesh and under remesh we can just change it to blocks and then change the octra depth up to something like six so you can see now if we look look pretty closely we have blocks I know it's crazy isn't it so with these blocks if we go back into render view you can see that it's gonna be slower um, and it probably won't update in real time but if you pause it and stuff you can see that it is indeed working um, if we play it a little bit more and then pause it a little bit more we can see that our simulation is working and it is a fluid simulation um, it's a fluid simulation with these blocks. You can always change the octree depth up or down. I wouldn't recommend changing it up too high because that can tank performance on your computer and such. But uh, now that we have that, what we can go ahead and do is with this cube right here, we can go to our object panel, which is this uh, yellow square. And then under visibility, we can uh, uncheck uh, show and renders and show and viewports. What that'll basically do is that just makes it to where it's not visible in the viewport. So if we go into render to view, you can see that now um, it's no longer there. But yeah, you can keep pausing your um, simulation and whatnot to get this uh, cool kind of water simulation kind of thing going on. But yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you want to, you can go ahead and shift A. Uh, actually, I'm going to reset the animation back to frame one. You can go ahead and shift A, add a plane, just scale it up really big. Uh, I'm going to scale mine up by five more. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and go to my materials tab, give it a new material, give it this kind of like reddish pink material with a very high roughness. Go ahead and delete this point light. And then under our world settings, click on this yellow dot and then just put sky texture. And now if we look at it now, we can see that it uh, has our sky texture. I'm going to go ahead and put this down to maybe like 0.3 or something. But we can see now if we play the animation once it decides to do that. We can see now we have our fluid simulation all fine and dandy. And just such like that. So um, that's pretty cool. Uh, thanks guys so much for watching. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did, uh, make sure to leave a like on the video. I have tons of other Blender tutorials too if you guys want to watch those. But thanks guys so much for watching. My name is Michael from Polygon Island, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.